Hi, I'm Andy Bellamy from AJA, and you're joining us at IBC 2014, and I'm here to take you through uh, our new production camera, uh, the Scion. Okay, so Scion is the brand new production camera from AJA. Uh, as a company, we've been going some 21 years, and for the last five years, we've been developing this camera. Scion has been designed to fulfill a lot of things we think are not out there on the market at the moment. Uh, and this is to bring forward a lightweight and ergonomic camera, which takes into account modern contemporary production methods and also those which are just around the corner. Scion covers both 4K, UHD, 2K and HD frame sizes, all in the same camera. We are well known for our Keypro products, so Scion features part of that technology incorporated into it, and this would be our ability to encode ProRes to our pack media in the camera. With ProRes recording, we're able to go at the highest end to ProRes 444, which is 12 bits, and we can do that at 4K, up to 30 frames a second in camera. If you wish to go to ProRes and do 60 frames a second or 50 frames a second, we can do so. We would use ProRes 422. Scion does, of course, respect the modern demand for raw workflows as well. We can output 120 frames a second over the three GSDIs in the camera uh, as 4K, or we can go out the Thunderbolt port at the rear of the camera at up to 30 frames a second at 4K. Scion has been designed as an open camera system. By that, we mean that we are compatible with a wide range of accessories on the marketplace. We cover most of the standard sizes, including quarter 20 plates, top and bottom, so you can fit any kind of adapter you wish or handle to the top of the camera. Any kind of tripod base plate will also work as well, be that 15 millimeter rods or 19 millimeter rods. We have ARRI M6 style rosettes built into the case itself. This means we can put handles directly onto it and then place the camera onto our shoulders. Scion features a PL mount. We believe PL mount glass gives you the best and sharpest resolution image you can for 4K. However, there are many other different types of lens system out there. When we announced Scion, we said it would be an open system and that we would turn to third parties to provide support for alternate lens systems. I'm very pleased to say that at IBC, we've been thrilled to show the new adapters from both MTF and wooden camera. MTF have produced a B4 mount, as well as an active EF and passive EF mount. They've also produced a, a Nikon G mount, which is backwards compatible with F and Wooden Camera have produced EF and Nikon G as well, and they have in the works planned Leica M. This is great for us because the lens mount was designed to be removed and replaced very quickly and easily. The camera also features mechanical back focus adjustment, which is also easily performed. This means a combination of these two things gives great creative uh, flexibility for anybody in the field. If you have glass that you own already, and we appreciate many photographers are making the move to videography, and they may have a lot of EF glass that they wish to use. We can easily allow them now to use that glass and create some very nice creative looks. Since NAB, we've continued to improve in and around the camera, the color process. We're very proud to have brought some new footage uh, to Vimeo that you can see yourselves at w.aja.com forward slash Scion. There we're showing completely ungraded footage. So this is using linear capture inside the camera. We're able to offer a number of different color settings which give a really rich, vibrant image with very fine detail. We're very, very pleased with these results. Scion is designed to be the heart of production. So Scion features a great many outputs, more so than any other production camera. If you work in 4K, Scion can support four 3G SDIs to drive a large 4K production monitor. We can also use a second HDMI on the camera to power another 4K monitor. So in a 4K environment, we have two outputs which are both live. In addition, we carry a down converted SDI as well in the rear of the camera. This means that if you are working on set in 4K, but you are not able to monitor 4K, you can see a very smooth downscaled color fidelity image from those ports. At the front of the camera, we offer the same thing again. This is primarily for an EVF or a monitor or both. We actually carry uh, two further outputs up front. One is a HDMI and one is a HDSDI. We also allow PTAP power too, so you can power the servo for a lens or one of these monitors. In terms of the way that we operate these down conversions, if you work in 4K, we'll give you a 2K output automatically. 
If you work in UHD, it will automatically be HD. So you don't have to go through the system setting these as you wish. You can, of course, apply crop. So you could work in 4K and crop out a UHD image to maybe fit a UHD monitor that doesn't, is not compatible with 4K. In terms of outputs, as I said, we were, we were unrivaled outputs against any other camera in its class. If you work in HD, we take the full sensor and we scale this down inside the camera in hardware. We don't crop the image. In doing so, every single output of the camera now becomes HD. So our four 3G SDIs, each individually, will carry that HD image. So Video Village are more than well catered for. We can decide also as well who has the overlay. We can put the time code out and the recording tally so anybody involved that needs to see that can do so very, very easily. We can also output great little pieces of metadata like battery life, how much storage I have left on my media, which is also very, very useful. One of the neat things about Scion is that every single control function of the camera can be controlled externally over the LAN. So one of the most important things about Scion's design is the ergonomic approach that we took. To make a shoulder mount camera, two things were important. We had to make it lightweight, but also very strong. We also had to consider the layout of the buttons and the way you may operate the camera itself on any shoot. In terms of accessing the buttons, the operational side and the output side of the camera are separate. This means if you're working with the camera on your shoulder, you're able to easily move the camera from your shoulder and hold to one side and make any amendments and changes that you need and return the camera to your shoulder very easily. Another important consideration when shooting is, of course, white balance. Every shoot needs white balance. We have an auto white balance mode, which provides really nice accuracy on set. In order to do this, you're able to now have the camera on your shoulder and the furthest button away in the bottom row is white balance. If you hold this button in, wait three seconds, it will auto white balance the scene for you. So if you accidentally hit the button while you were looking for another button, you wouldn't make any errors. It would stay in the same place it is. So we think that's a really nice, versatile way of working. Cyan itself carries LANC as its control protocol. So if we are shoulder mounting and we have a handle down here and we have a record button engaged here, we use a simple LANC cable back into the camera to press record. Now, this may need to be on the top of the camera. So we have a LANC port in two positions. Both will work. You can have both connected up. One is on the side of the camera and one is on the top. The ergonomics also meant that we wanted to include a jog dial. So the jog dial has a really nice response to it and it's very accurate. So you can speedily drill through menus. In doing so, you can get to the actual amendment you wish to make much quicker and easier than before. And when you click the button in, there's a very positive click noise and you feel the sensation in your thumb. So you know that you've made the right decision. The camera itself is very lightweight. As we said, 2.9 kilos and we've used a magnesium alloy to make it lightweight. This is also very, very strong. The contoured suede shoulder pad is also designed at an angle. So when you look at this, it's not even. This means that when the camera is balanced on your shoulder, left to right, the weight balance is excellent. So removing it from your shoulder means it's not going to tip one way or the other. We also allow you all the options in the world to actually affect the front and back balance of the camera system. On the front, we clearly have rods and a base plate, and we have a matte box and the glass. This is going to create a lot of weight up front on the camera. If you're working with a battery on a rear plate, it can be fixed. Now, this can be a very close balance and work very well. However, by using rods, you're then able to move the battery and counterbalance the camera. This can take a matter of minutes. It's very, very easy to do so. So let's talk about availability and price. Sign was announced back at NAB in April. And since then, we've been working very hard to bring you the very best picture quality possible. We're very nearly there. We've released images recently that were shot within the last two weeks before IBC to give you an idea of exactly where we are. And those images were released ungraded. We haven't done any sweetening to those images. And they really do reflect the truly powerful capabilities of this camera system. However, we have a little more to go to get it truly perfect for you. And I hope you'll be patient when we say that we'll be bringing it to you very, very soon. There's already been a dealer channel established in Germany and there are well-known dealers that you can go to. If you visit the AJA website, you'll be able to find out more information about that. In terms of pricing, the euro rate has yet to be set, but the dollar rate was fixed back in April and that will not change. 
Scion is $8,995 and we have provided a two-year warranty. As soon as the camera is available, the local dealers and channel will be able to make their orders and you'll be able to get in touch with it. We are going to prioritize demo units to all of our dealer channel and that's globally. So this means there'll be a Scion hopefully in your area, in your area for you to come and try out. We'll continue to support local shows in and around uh, German-speaking regions and we'll continue to do so.